Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. I'm your girl, Jaleesa Chavez. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to highlight and contour round face or how to highlight and contour period. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe now for more videos. And we're gonna get into this beat, honey, because look. Okay, so whether you have oily or dry skin, you always want to moisturize. I'm going in with the Sunday Riley Drops. I'm gonna go in with the Stila Foundation. And I'm in the shade Tan Deep. I'm gonna take about three pumps of this to get a full face. And this one's really dark, so I like to go with about two pumps of the Hydrating Fenty Foundation. I'm gonna warm that product up on the back of my hand before applying it. And then I'll go in with my finger and I just apply it in the areas I need it most first. I think the skin to skin really just melts the foundation into the skin. All right, and then I just go in and blend it with my booty blender. Now don't worry, I know this foundation is really, really warm, um, but it looks so good once I start highlighting and concealing, like the colors just balance out so well because this is my uh, summer shade. I'm actually like this color on my arms. Uh, my chest is just a little bit lighter, but it just balances out so much more when you go in with like your concealer and everything. Trust the process, okay? I'm gonna go in with the One Size Beauty Concealer and I like this shade Medium Dark too. You're gonna apply a little bit of this under the eye. And when I'm doing this, I like to kind of avoid right under the eye just so that I won't have too much product build up. And then I'm gonna take a little bit on the outer corner. Right in the center of the chin and some in the corners of the mouth. Everything is meant to be lifted and snatched. Just using your makeup creates the illusion of a slimmer face or a more snatched face or like a, you know, like a pulled up look. Creating the lines here instantly gives you an eye lift. Doing concealer right in the center brings attention to your face, brings light to your face right in the center. And when you contour, it creates shadows, which we'll get to in a minute. Whenever you go in and start blending the concealer, you want to use light pressure, like I said, so that the product stays. And as you can see, automatically, it looks like a spotlight is right on my chin. Here on the sides of the mouth, I took just a little so that I can connect it to where my contour will stop. And you want to blend under the eye. Make sure you are looking up and you're using light pressure. Less is more, which is why I don't apply it right under the eye, as you can see. That concealer is going to automatically start to blend up under the eye anyways. So why put product there if you know it's gonna end up there anyways? I'm keeping this right on the curve of the nostril and then up towards the temple. So from the inner corner of the eye down to the nostril, up to the temple. And I feel like the Beauty Blender does most of the hard work for me. Like I don't have to watch where I'm blending. It's like the Beauty Blender fits perfectly under the eye like that for a reason so that you don't have to like do too much like math in your head. <laughs> it's really just the tools that you're using and how you're using them. It's made to fit under the eye, twist it up like that to blend up. And it's exactly designed to do exactly that. All right, now we're moving on to highlighting. This is just emphasizing or enhancing the light that we've already created. It looks a little dull because all we did was color correct. We just basically got rid of dark circles and now we're going to highlight. I'm gonna go in with the Milani Light Nude Concealer. And I just apply just a little bit of this. Less is more. Eye is a very delicate area, so you don't want to put a bunch of concealer to get that smooth, like flawless under eye. To get that smooth, flawless under eyes, to use less product. And you want to let that sit for about 10 or 15 seconds. After it sits for a minute, you're going to go ahead and start blending it in. Same placement as before. We're actually going to keep this more towards the center. 
so you don't have to drag it all the way up so i'm basically not dragging it past the outer corner of the eye like i stop right here on the outer corner any access product i apply on top of the chin and i also drag some right under where i'm going to be contouring all right and what i'm going to do is go on the edges of that highlight with the butt end of my beauty blender and blend out any harsh lines I'm avoiding that line there because I want it to stay very straight. So I'm just blending out like the bottom edge around the nose. All right, now I'm taking the Lawless Seal the Deal Translucent Powder. I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender. You wanna apply a generous amount. Go on the back of your hand to take off like that first top layer so that you get an even amount of powder to set. And you just want to bounce that powder in. This is the biggest tip on how to get the most flawless under eye. If you have an even amount of powder and you're not like over powdering, you're gonna get a flawless under eye. And then I go in with my second layer to bake. Like that. I'm also gonna set my chin where I highlight it and you're going to carve out your contour. When you carve out your cheekbones, I'm telling you, it gives you a lift instantly. I'm gonna go with this Beauty Creations powder. It's like very, very dark, but it's super warm. And I just like to use this to show you guys like um, where to contour. I like to contour right here in the hollows of my cheek and I start higher than lower. So I could start right here, right in front of the ear, which is where I carved out the cheekbone. But the higher you start, the more lifted your face looks. So with contour, we're, we're creating artificial shadows. So I like to go with that dark powder and just apply that right in the hollows of my cheek. The best way to find this place on your face is to go from your sideburn down to your mouth. So imagine this imaginary line here going from your sideburn down to the corner of your mouth. That's where you wanna place that line. I'm using very light pressure to blend that out. Whenever you're blending your contour, you always want to blend upward. Blending it downward would create a five o'clock shadow right here. And then I'm gonna take some Fenty Beauty bronzer and sit this on top of where I create the contour in the hollows of my cheek. And I'm not going past the apple of my cheek. I want my blush to be placed right here on the ball. So I'm keeping the contour really close to the edge. Brush a little on the side of the forehead, which gives an illusion of a smaller forehead. Makes the light on your forehead like very small. So the more you contour, the smaller that spotlight on your forehead will be, giving you a smaller forehead. You contour the jawline starting from behind the ear down to the chin and always blend backward into the neck. And as you can see, that shadow there created a sharper jawline compared to this side. You can still kind of see like the curve of my chin here. And if you start your contour from behind the ear and work it to the chin, it just creates a shadow to make that completely disappear. Like look at the difference and always blend down into the neck so that you don't create a five o'clock shadow here. It's all about lighting, like lighting, it could really make a difference if you get that down in your makeup. All right, and then we're gonna contour the nose with this bronzer. I'm gonna start from the edge of the brow down to the nose bone. It doesn't look broken, there is no space between the brow and the nose there, it just all goes together once you start from the tip of the brow. And then go in and apply a little powder on the sides. All right, to make everything look super professional, flawless, like next level, you wanna take some MAC setting powder. MAC is OG, we all know that, and it's for a reason. This powder is going to give you a professional finish. It looks so smooth. And I like to brush away my baking powder with this. 
Okay, I'm loving how this looks, but blush is going to take this to the next level. All right, so I'm gonna go in with some Baby Doll Pink Blush. I mentioned this in my last video. It's like super bright. Um, it's like a trending blush now, which is crazy because I was using it way before then, but anyways. And what I'm gonna do is start to dab this right on top of the contour and work my way to the apple of the cheek. This is gonna bring color and life to the skin. Blush instantly makes you look younger because it's youthful. You know, we're always blushing when we're younger. So this is what's going to really make your face pop. And it's best to start on top of the contour, like literally right on top of that cheekbone and work your way to the apple of the cheek. And what I'm doing is also dusting it a little bit right under the eye. So I'm going to set the under eye with this Wet n Wild highlighting powder. This is just going to brighten it up a little bit more. And I just push it in and I also blend it in with the blush and contour so there's no harsh lines there. All right, I'm going to go finish the rest of my makeup off camera and I'll be back to show the finished look. All right, rest of my makeup is done. We're going to highlight now. I'm taking the BH Cosmetics It's My Rary palette and I'm going to go in with French Toast and apply just a little bit right on the apple of the cheek. And the way you can find best to highlight for your face shape is to turn towards the light and wherever that light hits is where you want to apply the highlighter. Now take a little on my cheeks and then a little in the center of the forehead. I'm going to set the face with some setting spray. Alrighty y'all, this is the finished look. I love, love, love this look. Like this is giving me Malibu Barbie. Like, uh, who is she? <laughs> I hope that my tips and tricks helped you today on learning how to highlight and contour round face. You can use these tips too, even if you don't have a round face. It's really about learning where the light hits on your face, where to create the shadows and also lines make a huge difference. Also tools are very important. Beauty Blender is gonna be the best thing for beginners because it's designed to help you like place product exactly where it needs to go and blend that product out where it needs to be. Brushes will be a little bit more advanced because there's so many types of brushes and they have brushes created for that reason. And if you're using the wrong type of brush, it could just like, it, it can make it very difficult. If there's anything about makeup that you want me to go in depth about, please leave it down below in the comments and I will make a dedicated video for that. Thank you guys for coming back to watch another video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I believe that's all. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.